video, you will learn how to manage the hiring process of a candidate in the OHHRM open source system. First, go to Recruitment, then Candidates to view all the candidates that have applied for available vacancies. Candidate list displays vacancy name, candidate name, name of the hiring manager for that particular vacancy, date of application, status in which the candidate is in, and resume download option. There can be hundreds of candidates, but you can filter out the candidates that have applied for a specific job. You can filter the candidate list by job title, vacancy, hiring manager, workflow status, candidate name, keywords, date of application, and method application. Let's filter the candidate list by that particular vacancy. Here, the list shows all candidates that have applied for the filtered vacancy. You can download their resume by clicking the download link associated with each candidate. Or, you can click on their name to view more details about the candidate. Once you go into the candidate profile, you can see additional information such as their email address and contact number. An application starts from the application received state. After going through the details, you can decide whether to shortlist or reject the candidate as you see fit. In this instance, let's shortlist the candidate to move it to the next stage. To do this, choose Shortlist from the Select Option drop-down. Enter a note and then click on the Shortlist button to shortlist the candidate. As you can see, the current state of the application has turned into shortlisted. In addition, the name of the employee and date of action are captured as well. Go back to the previous page and at the bottom of the page, you can find the history of each action performed for this candidate's application. Once shortlisted, the next step is to schedule an interview for the candidate. Choose Schedule Interview from the Select Option drop-down menu. You can also reject the candidate at this point as well. When you select Schedule Interview, you are navigated to another page where you can interview information such as Interview Title, Interviewers, Schedule Date and Time, and Additional Notes. You have the ability to select multiple interviewers for the interview by clicking on the link as Add Another. As an additional option, you can upload any other supportive documents such as an interview guide to help the interview process. Once the interview is done, click on the candidate and go to the details view to update whether the candidate passed or failed by choosing from the drop down. Let's select this candidate has passed. If you have any additional comments, you can enter them here as well. Now that you have marked the candidate as passed, you can offer the job to them or a schedule for another interview or reject the candidate. Let's offer this candidate the job. Again, you can add an optional note before confirming the action. Next, you can mark the candidate as declined offer, rejected, or as hired. Now when you go back to the candidate list, you can see who is hired by filtering by the hired status. Thank you for watching the video. If you have any further questions, please feel free to reach us at info at orangehrm.com. For other matters, you may directly email us support at ossupport at orangehrm.com or visit our website at www.orangehrm.com.